everybody, welcome back to another video of Paradox0398, and in this video we are going to be playing Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2. So this is the first ever video that I have done uh, in Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2, but it's such a fun game, I thought that I would make a video on it, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Well, not make a video on it, but make some videos on it. Well, not just some. I'm gonna make a lot of videos on it. When they come out with an update, I'll make an update video on it. You know, just other regular videos on it. Because it's such a fun game. Now, uh, by the way, uh, there's a few things I would like to say. Make be a big deal to me if you could subscribe. And join my Roblox group. Follow me on Twitter, of course, but we're joining my Roblox group, too, because uh, I have... A, shirts that you can buy. I might start making some pants you could buy too. Either way, uh, in my Roblox, uh, uh, Roblox group, you can go into the shop and buy some shirts, but in like a day or two, I am going to upload a shirt that's a limited uh, edition Halloween shirt. That I'm, I'm going to make a different one each Halloween, each Christmas, you know, whatever. Uh, but it's going to be a limited item, and you should get it. Well, you can, but also, Tomorrow, uh, or today, depends on when you're watching this video, uh, very soon, either way, uh, I, uh, I should be uploading a piggy video of how to get the, 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 about the update that they came out with, the, uh, Halloween, uh, event update thing. Anyways, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyways, this video on Lumber Tycoon 2 is, I mean, this update came out about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, but they about two or three weeks ago came out with a Halloween 2020 update basically and they added I think four total different items well actually in total they have a lot more than four items but I'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the video and show you and you can see I've upgraded my plot all the way um, already and I have pretty much the max money you uh, can have um, by the way if you have over 20 million dollars when you leave the game and you rejoin, it'll take you down to exactly 20 million because that's the max money you can have. But a lot of this money I got donated to me. I sold a few items too, uh, but I just randomly got donated a few times. That's a story for a different day. And I also have a bunch of items here that I bought and also that people gave to me for free because they had extras or whatever. But over here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Halloween items I've already gotten and I'm going to show you where to get it. But I'm, I'm basically, I'm making a shop here. That's just a storage area, but I'm making a shop here. Uh, and this is the Halloween 2020 section, as you can see up on the wall there. And this is going to be like a bundle for everything that you can get from Halloween 2020. It's going to be a whole bundle. Uh, but either way, we have the candy corn axe. We have the uh, Halloween, spooky Halloween lights. We have the ghastly or ghastly ghastly however you say it ghastly pumpkin we have the purple bag of candy and then in the purple bags of candy you can get either kip king 100 money plots dupe patch birds tnt or milky maze now before i get further into these i'm gonna go ahead and show you where you can buy each of these items and i think it's about to be nighttime so hopefully i can get there quick enough uh, so yeah, let me, let me go across the bridge. Come on, Sarah Knock. It's a deal. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to wait for this bridge to lower in order to get across. Now there is something in Wood R Us, and I'll show you that in a bit. But since the shops across the bridge close at nighttime, I want to get to these first. So, yeah, well Bob's Shack doesn't close, but Fancy Furnishings does does so yeah anyways so uh the first place you can get the items you go across the bridge it's 100 money to go across the bridge yeah 100 money i think yeah 100 money and you just take a right turn here and then fancy furnishings in the left hand side here there's nothing in box cars that's new just fancy furnishings basically so come to fancy furnishings and right here you can see the purple bag of candy the purple bag of candy, loose item, costs a hundred or six hundred and twelve dollars. Purple bag, purple candy. Now that is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself one of these really quickly. Uh, it's six hundred and twelve dollars. Yep. Just, just as I said before, 
to go ahead and plop that into my truck real quick. And then over here, right next to the purple bags of candy, we have the Spooky Icicle Lights. Uh, they're wire. They cost $910. Scare away your neighbors with some terrifying lighting. They actually look pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and plop this on the counter and buy it for $910. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. No, thank you. So that's basically all that's in uh, Fancy Furnishings. Well, not basically it, but that is it. That's in Fancy Furnishings. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. It's about to be nighttime anyways. But that's fine, because we've already gotten everything from Fancy Furnishings. Now, we'll go over these uh, these items in a bit. Now, in order to get to Bob's Shack, you can either go this direction, or if you go to Fancy Furnishings and go right to the left of it, right here, and just basically, well, don't fall in the water, of course. You'll die in the water, and basically follow the right-hand side here. Uh, you'll come up on Bob's Shack right here. It's a little uh, wooden brown shack, basically. And if you look in here, it says limited stock, and we have the ghastly pumpkin. It's a loose item, and its cost is eight hundred eight hundred and thirty-two dollars. And the description for it is ah, it's very ghastly, very scary. So I'm gonna go ahead, plop that on the counter, and buy it for eight hundred and thirty-two dollars. I will take that. No problem, Bob. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. No problem, Bob. Okay, so that's everything that's across the bridge. And I'm going to show you the other way that you can get to Bob's Shack. So, right over there is Fancy Furnishings. So, you could also go this direction. Basically, right through here. And if you head straight, right over there is Fancy Furnishings. And basically, if you head straight this way, towards the road... Uh, you'll find the road, and there you go. There's the bridge. You could follow the road all the way that way and just follow the left-hand side. Oh, and the bridge, of course, just has to be going down just now. That's just amazing. Lower it again. Okay. Well, whatever. I have enough money. It's not really that big of a deal lowering the bridge. If you don't want to pay for the bridge, you can go into the shop for Lundberg Tycoon 2 and buy the free bridge thing you don't have to pay money for the bridge but I don't really care it's only a hundred bucks now before we stop back at my plot there was a little bit of lag there uh, and this is a VIP server because I've had enough of hackers uh, like a, that's literally the name of my VIP server and like there was a hacker that got this all off my plot and then I had to go around, then then I reported them, and then they left randomly, or maybe they got kicked or something, or banned or something, and then I had to go around the map and collect all my stuff again. It was, I've had enough of hackers, and there's also less lag on a VIP server. So, the final item for Halloween 2020 is if you go to Wood R Us, which is right in front of where you spawn, you spawn right here, uh, and if you go to Wood R Us, and you go right to the back of the shop. I just top over the shelves. Uh, what? My spacebar didn't work there for a second. But if you come right back here to the back of the store, we have the candy corn axe. Uh, it's a tool, and it costs $9,400. And it, its description is, Everybody likes candy corn, question mark, question mark, question mark. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this really quickly. Now, comment down below. Uh, what you think about candy corn? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or is it just okay? Not your favorite. You don't really especially like it. It's just candy. What do you think? I think that it's okay. I don't especially like it. don't especially hate it. It's just candy. So let's go ahead and go back to our plot. Jeez. <laughs> I was just saying a VIP server was is less laggy, but it's really... I'm getting a bunch of lag spikes all of a sudden for whatever reason. Now, excuse my plot, it's a very big mess, but I don't really care. It's just still a work in progress. Now, I'm going to go ahead and first show you the purple bag of candy. Now, if you open it out of the box, uh, that, oh, and it's invisible, 
I swear it's right there. I'm picking it up. It's just uh, um, okay. This is this is really weird. Wait, what? What happened to it? Huh? It disappeared. Oh wait, no, it's over here. <laughs> I was clueless for a second. That usually doesn't happen, or actually just doesn't happen. But basically, if you open the purple bag of candy box like these, then you will get this right here. This is what it looks like. Uh, it looks like a purple bag of candy. <laughs> That's basically what it is, right? And if you hover your mouse over it again, you can open it. And you get a bunch of random assorted candies. Now, I didn't get every candy in here, and it's a very rare chance that you're going to get a pink candy, which looks like this. It's just pink. There's no, uh, there's no label on it or anything. It's just a pink candy. Uh, that's, it's a rare candy, and it's very rare that you're gonna get it, but you still have a chance of getting it. I got all of these from a great trade. Somebody asked for all of my wires. I had a bunch of wires from Link's Logic and stuff, but either way, I had a bunch of wires, and they traded me all, all of my wires for, uh, all of these purple candies. It was a great deal, but as I said, uh, it's a random chance what candies you're gonna get except for the purple candy, uh, or not the purple candy, the pink candy. It's a very rare chance that you're gonna get the pink candy, but of all the other candies, it's just random chance what you're gonna get, and there's not a specific amount of candies that you get in each purple bag of candy. Sometimes you get five, sometimes you get three, sometimes you get seven. It just, it's just random chance how many you get. No, you're not gonna open a purple bag of candy and get, like, 50, no. You, it, uh, you, the max you can get is like 10 and the minimum you can get is like 2 I believe but and out in this random chance how much you're gonna get and it's also random chance which ones you're gonna get I got two Kip Kings a mil uh, three Milky Mazes a dupe patch kids a plots and a TNT and speaking of those I'm gonna go over all of the candies up up here yeah, number one, I sorted my candies, like, color-coordinated, basically. But, number one, we have Kip King, which, uh, by the way, I'm in the United States, uh, so some of these uh, candies you might not, they might not have in the U United Kingdom or in Sweden or anywhere else. But, uh, uh, starting up at uh, number one here, we have Kip King, which is a Kit Kat. Of course, they can't name them exactly the same name as they are IRL, otherwise they'll get like a copyright issue. But either way, number one, we have Kip King, which is a Kit Kat. Uh, number two, we have a 100 money bar, uh, which is a 100 grand bar, uh, IRL. And then number three, we have Plots, which is Dots, IRL. And then starting in, at number four over here, we have Dupe Patch Kids, which is, uh, of course, Sour Patch Kids, you might know that. And then, number five right here, I fell off the box thing there. Number five here, we have the Birds Candy, which is Nerds, IRL. And then over here, we have the TNT Bar, which is actually M&M Bar, uh, IRL. And then over here, we have the Milky Maze, which is a Milky Way, IRL. And then we have the Pink Candy, which is just pink. It's not really anything in specific IRL that I know of, at least. Uh, it's just a pink candy. Now, there is uh, actually little, uh, not sayings, what are they, slogans on the candies. So, on Kip King, the Kip Kings, it says, A new adventure awaits. And then I'm gonna just have to get out, get candies out of my own stash. Uh, 100 money bar. It says it's very hard to see, but right there it says, "So you want some land, eh?" And it's when you first go to buy your land in Lumber Tycoon 2, it's 100 money. So that's why they named it 100 money and said, "You want some land, eh?" So you want some land, eh? That's what. Uh, I forgot what his name is in the land store. That's what he says. And then over here, the plots. I forgot what they say, actually. They say assorted fruit flavor, assorted fruit flavored tiles. That's what the plots say. 
And then we have the dupe patch kids, and this is just hilarious. If you don't know what dupe means, D-U-P-E, it's a shortened version of duplication or duplicate. Now basically, there's a lot of items like these that are that are limited. They're only around for a specific amount of time. You can only buy them in the shop for that specific amount of time. And that specific amount of time, you can only get it for that time. And that's it. You can't get it anymore after that specific amount of time. But then there's duplicators that duplicate items. They'll just take like this item and then duplicate it and make two of them. And then take those two and duplicate them and make four, basically. And it kind of ruins values of things in game, so that's why as soon as an event is over, like as soon as Halloween's gone and this update is gone and you can't get these purple bags of candy or anything anymore, that that's when the that's when the items are going to be most expensive because of duplicators duplicating the items, making more of the items, making them cheaper. But either way, Dupe means duplication, duplicate, whatever, but dupe patch kids, like they patch the dupes, and real bans included is the slogan. <laughs> so you can actually get banned for duplicating if they find out that you duplicate. So dupe patch kids, <laughs> real bans included. I really kind of find that funny, I don't know why. And next up, we have the bird candy. I don't have any on the floor here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get one out of my stash. Uh, now, birds, um, if you don't know how to get the Rukiri Axe in-game, this is basically kind of a hint to uh, get the Rukiri Axe. And it says birds rather than nerds. It says birds with little bird logos there that says follow the red eagle. Now, if you know how to get the Rukiri Axe, you would know what that means. I might make a video on how to get the Rukiri Axe one day, but not now, but if you know how to get the Rukiri Axe, then you'd know what that means. Next up, we have TNT, uh, it just says Crisp Bar, um, and it has like a picture of rocks, basically, on there that are in the pathway to the winter biome. And then we have Milky Maze, it doesn't say anything, it's just Milky Maze, and that's it. And then, of course, the pink candy. It's just a pink candy. There's really nothing special to it. And then next up, let's go ahead and get onto the uh, ghastly pumpkin. Now, I'm not going to open this, actually, since I already have one opened. But when you hover your mouse over it, it says open box. You can press E to open the box, basically. And once you open the box, you get this, the ghastly pumpkin. Uh, out of the box, of course. Let me go ahead and rotate it onto its bottom. Okay, this is taking too long. Okay, here. Come on. Okay, there we go. I pretty much have it. Okay, come on. Just a little bit further. There we go. So that's what it looks like. It's basically just gray. No light inside or anything. It's just a ghastly pumpkin, basically. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and if you hover your mouse over it, you can press E to check. And it says, ghastly pumpkin, loose item. Ah, just the same thing it says in the shop, in Bob's Shack, except it doesn't say the price. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on my shelf here for display. That's why I opened this one in specific. It's for display only, basically. So, next up... Not the candy corn axe. Next up is the spooky icicle lights. Now, if you open them up, uh, you just basically get this wire thing. You can press E to place, E to place, F to finish. I'm just going to press back so it goes back into the box. There. There's the box. Uh, oops. But basically, when you open it, uh, they turn into these right here. This is also for display up here. Uh, now, they're just basically black wires and black pumpkins, except inside there is either blue or orange lights. Now, I've had a problem with these, where, like, most of them are, like, flipped around inside the wall, so you can't actually freaking see the inside of the pumpkin, which is kind of annoying. It took me forever to place this so that you could see the blue light, the orange light, you know. Anyways, but this is basically what it looks like on the box uh, so yeah that's what the spooky icicle lights look like now uh, last but not least finally we have the 
uh, candy corn axe. You can press E to open the box. I'm not going to do that, of course. Uh, but you can hover your mouse over it and press E to open the box. Uh, this pile is uneven here, but that's because something's underneath that I forgot to get out. Anyways, that's besides the point, but once you open it, you get this. It's the candy corn axe. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Uh, you can see on the right hand side there. Looks pretty cool. Looks like just candy corn on the top of it and just a wood handle, basically. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Now, if you're on mobile and you don't know how to drop things, you can't drop things on mobile, at least not yet. So basically, just reset your character, and then pick up the items you want to pick up, and everything else will be dropped. I don't know, my W just stuck there. I don't know why. But either way, I'm just going to go ahead and put that back on the shelf. It's just about as good as the Silver Axe. Uh, it's, not, it's not really any better, not really any worse. It's about the same, maybe slightly better than the Silver Axe. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all that they've added in the Halloween 2020 update. If I miss anything, tell me in the comment section below. But, um, uh, uh, my suggestion is to basically, uh, save up your money so you can buy, uh, purple bags of candy, ghastly pumpkins, spooky icicle lights, and, uh, candy corn axes, and then save them. Don't open them, just save them, uh, until after uh, this Halloween 2020 update goes away and you can't get those items anymore and then sell them to other players uh, because the, the older they get basically the longer you can't get them anymore the more expensive they become so it's basically an investment so I could buy the candy corn axe for example for 9400 right now and then in a month or two I could sell it for like 20000 basically it's just basically an invest an investment. You get more money, uh, but yeah, that's what I'm building here as a shop, basically. So I highly suggest that you try and get all of these items, at least one of all of these items, before they go away. Uh, even if you're not going to sell them, I guess you can just have them for bragging rights. But put them in a safe spot like this, so hackers can't like glitch them off your plot and steal them or anything. And also just blacklist everybody, because unless you're running a shop, of course, just blacklist everybody. So yeah, that's pretty much all that they have added in this update. I'm still working on my shop. This whole thing is a mess. I'm going to make more videos of Lumber Tycoon 2 in the future. Uh, but this, I just, you know, I am just thought I might make this video uh, before the update goes away and you can't get these items anymore. So yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. If I missed anything... Be sure to tell me in the comment section below. Don't be afraid to comment. Uh, you know, if you have if you have any suggestions, like if I should play this game more often in videos, or if I should play any other specific game, or you have a question about a specific game or anything like that, or any other questions or suggestions you have, just put them in the comment section below. Or anything I missed, feel free to just comment. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video when I upload one. And we have a lot of videos coming soon, including that piggy Halloween uh, update event. So, yeah, be sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss those. And as always, have a great day, and I will see you in my next video, everybody. Goodbye.